Hey, Crazy Will here today. Today we're going to be talking about hoobs. Homebridge, out of the box. Can make everything work with HomeKit. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you it. Hey, Crazy Will from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, we're going to be talking about a company called Hoobs. So a while back, I did a video, and you guys can take a look at that right here. It was on Homebridge. It's a piece of software that makes all your other smart devices, if there's a plug-in for it, work with HomeKit on your iPhone or iPad, which was a really popular video. So I did this video, tried to make it as easy as possible with the help of QuickPie's repository, and if you want to see his stuff, he does a lot of stuff on Raspberry Pi, he's very, very talented. So I did that, and I showed you how to make the config script and I showed you all this stuff even though I made it easier it's still kind of a pain in the butt not the easiest thing to set up you have to learn quite a bit about a Raspberry Pi how to SSH into it how to set up an SD card there's a lot of steps to take to get into the part where you're actually just using the software and I've been playing with this for a little over two years now and it's worked really great and it makes stuff like for example the biggest thing I use it for is my TP link smart plugs they're not home kit ready and I I love the Kaz app and I love everything about it, but it would be nice to make routines in HomeKit. It links the Kaz app effortlessly. So it's been quite a while since I did that video and I had a company out of the blue email me and they asked me, hey, would you like to try a HomeBridge out of the box? I'm like, HomeBridge out of the box? And I'm like, can I really pull that off, you know, for the average consumer? I was a little skeptical, but I said, sure, it's free, let's try it. You know, it's something I'm into, it's smart home, worst case scenario. I just give it a bad review on my channel and we part our ways. And I figured my subscribers might like this, so I said, let's try it. So after they confirmed they were gonna send it to me, I said, let me do my research. I went to their website, which is hoobs.org. If you just want the operating system and you want to tinker with their software, absolutely free, they have a download that you could do and you could download the software and try it that way. Thought that was a little odd. I'm like, all right, whatever. And then they have an SD card that you could purchase and it's $9.90, a little bit of an odd price, but still for an SD card, that's pretty cheap with their software on it. And I was like, all right, that's cool. And then they had the out of the box solution, which we have right here for $99. So a hundred bucks basically. And what you get in this box, you get a Hoobs box ready to go with their version of UI and Homebridge pre-installed, ready to go, an ethernet cord, a power adapter, and in a little instruction manual that tells you how to go through it. Now, I gotta be honest with you guys. I tried a lot of UIs and that's user interfaces for Homebridge. They weren't really good. You know, I installed them, I had Homebridge already installed, and then I put this UI into it, and they weren't bad, they just didn't deliver on the promises that they said they would do, like making everything super easy with the config script and installing plugins super easy. It never really did. Honestly, most of them screwed up Homebridge more than they did anything, and I just kind of gave up on the whole UI thing. I just, you know, the user interface, I was like, there's no point in this. All it is is showing me that it's either it's on and it's working and what the temperature of the PCU was. As far as using the script editor or anything else, it was just garbage. So needless to say, I didn't have very high hopes. Well, three weeks passed and guess what showed up on my front door? Hoops. So I said, ah, whatever, I'll bring it home, I'll hook it up. What do I got to lose? So here's the box. There's where the power goes. That's where your ethernet goes. And it came with an ethernet cable. And all you do is you connect it to your router. And this is my router right here. We're gonna connect that right in there, like so. I'm gonna get the power adapter right here and plug it right in here. And that's it. Now we have to wait, I think about a minute. So then you go to your regular computer, make sure it's on the same network as the hops box. And then you're gonna go to HTTP, semicolon I think it is, forward slash forward slash hobs dot local. And I'll put it down below because you know me, I get things wrong. So once you do that, you should have a screen like this that's a login screen to Hobbs box. So I'm going to take this opportunity because a little spoiler alert I was pleasantly surprised about how good this was so let's jump in and show you what I'm talking about. All right so here we are first when we first log in and the login admin admin 
and we'll log in. What you're gonna do from here is you're gonna take your iPhone from HomeKit and you're gonna scan that in. And once you scan that in, the QR code there, or you could manually type it in too. There's a number down here. Put that number in as well. And then it'll add onto your phone through HomeKit. Let's just talk about what's over here in the right-hand corner. You have these double lines. You could go to terminal, you could restart server, you could shut it down, you could log out, which will bring you back to the screen where you type in admin. You could restart HomeBridge. This actually just restarts the HomeBridge operating system through Hoobs. You got user accounts, and this is where you want to change your user account. You want to add an account and then delete the administrator, which I haven't done yet, and this is going to become my full-time HomeBridge accessory, so I am definitely going to do that, but I don't want to do that on video. You go to view logs, so you could see that it's actually running. And that's the QR code, and you can actually see that there's stuff running in the background. And then over here, we have status, which is the original page that we landed on. You got plugins. Now, this is what I really like about plugins, the TP Links plugins. I'm gonna uninstall it because I wanna show you how a plugin gets installed, but you hit uninstall, it uninstalls the plugin. Boom, it's gone. Now, if I want that plugin, I can go to TP Link. And that's not the one I want because it doesn't work. Has a search built right into it. One word, let me see which one worked. There we go. One word, it was this one that actually works. From here, I did a search right in their plugins, which is awesome. I don't have to go to any website and look for MPMs, I think they're called, but anyway. We can click right here and it'll actually take us to the website so we can actually see all the information we need to know about this. What it does, how to set it up, and this is what we're looking for right here, which is really cool. So we'll go back to the Hobbs interface. Oh, and you also have this here that takes you to, oh, same place. Anyway, okay, so this is the one we'll hit install boom it just starts installing and it's that quick I didn't even change the video it just installs that quick so now we're back to the plugins and don't delete this one this is your interface for Hobbs and here's your TP link and like I said you can go in here we'll click right down here we're gonna look for for this code and I want to grab this to this that's what I want so I'm gonna hit copy now we'll go back to Hobbs and right here we're gonna click on config this is where the consumer is probably going to be a little like, oh my God, what is this? It's not a big deal, guys. You know, read some tutorials. Just to break it down for you guys real quick, there's accessories and everything goes into accessories right here. And then there's platforms. And they're usually closed in with these little brackets right here. I don't know the name of them. I'm not a programmer. I just know basic crap. And then usually there's a comma. So this is all the information that you need for the platform. We don't want to mess that up for the actual UI interface user interface. I hate when people use abbreviations. So we're going to put a little comma there and then we're going to step down and we're going to hit command V and paste that right in there. And that's the platform. So we can hit save and it gives you a little notification, which is really awesome right here that the config files right. And the reason why I know it works, so like, let's say we, we messed it up. We, we, we accidentally put an extra curly bracket, I guess that's called. And I hit save. It'll say config syntax error. So we have a syntax error. So we got to, oh, Oh, actually put that in there. Boom, hit save. There you go, now it's successfully saved and it's good. So it tells you basically, hey, you put the code in wrong, idiot. And I love that right off the bat. So from here, once we're done, just click on this restart. You wanna let it restart. All right, and we're back into the main menu again. And now if you go to accessories, they should show up. And I've been playing with this a lot. And just to let you guys know, there is a new Harmony Hub plugin that works and I will leave a link down below for my other subscribers that actually set up their home bridge. I'll leave that link down below. There is a new one and it actually works. I'm really surprised about that. I don't know why the buttons are still in here because I deleted everything out so I could show you guys from scratch but I restarted it. You can view the log to make sure that it's running. Everything's running great and then you go to the accessories and it should work and it should show up on home bridge. Another cool feature that I really like is you can back up. Let's say you got your script just perfect you could back it up and you can hit back up and it actually downloads straight to your download file or you could restore it actually makes save points so you can see I've been playing with this quite a bit and it has save points so you can go back to your original setup if you want to or if you really messed it up and you're like oh my god I don't know what to do you could save it from that point too these are all your basically rollbacks as they call it so that's pretty cool you're, you're able to do that it'll change it out real quick so that way if you have a part where you're like oh my god I don't know what else to do you know I'm, I'm completely lost but I have all this other information up here of what I did and I don't want to lose it you can go back to the last save point 
And so boom. that basically is how the interface works, guys. I'm actually blown away by this product. If you're not wanting to get into the Raspberry Pi of things and you just want a smart home, this is definitely the way to go. If you're just like an average Joe and you just want HomeKit to work with your devices and you don't mind playing with a little bit of programming language, I mean, it's all right there. You saw how quick I put in the TP link plugs. It gives you the code. You can kind of add it in there. It's awesome. I can't tell you guys guys enough like I went into this thinking who cares like honestly I thought it was gonna be another UI that wasn't that good yeah it had home bridge on it whoopee this is an all-inclusive kind of device like it says on the box it's hoobs in the box it's basically home bridge in the box ready to go you throw it on there you log in and you add your plugins and everything's right there I mean no SSHing to the Pi no setting it up no flash in the drive none of that garbage you plug it in you type Type in the address and you're in business. You could start trying to set up your home bridge. You connect it with your phone right away. I mean, this is a winner to me. I, I give it a five out of five. I didn't think I was gonna do this. I thought it was gonna be a product. I'd be like, ah, they tried. It's not bad. Maybe you should buy it. If you want a simple solution, you need to buy this. It's that simple. I'm really impressed. I am going to integrate it. I've been playing with it nonstop. I added my Kuna light. I added TP link. I took them all out because I wanted to make this video. I mean, here you go, office lights, guys. Boom, it's out. Well, you can't really see it because I have the other lights on, but the office lights are in here. Like, it works. It works really well. It works really fast. It's surprising. As far as the devices you can connect to it, you can get Kuna in there. I got Kuna. I was able to get the light. I wasn't able to get the video going. It's something with the program. Like I said, that has nothing to do with hoops. That's the plugins. They're independent programmers, which, you know, in the spare time, they make these. But I got the Kuna light working. I got the TP link. I got Harmony Hub. A lot of you guys messaged me and were upset about the Harmony Hub. There's a new plugin. And like I said, we'll leave the link down below. That worked great. Basically, everything that you could do at your home bridge, you can add into this. It just makes it so much easier. Like, even the code, it corrects a lot of the code for you. It tells you if it's good. There's no, I used to have to go to another website. I mean, it, if you've ever set up home bridge, you know what I'm talking about. This made it super easy. You will see the value in this. If you have a friend or a parent and they want it on their Apple devices, you could easily set this up in their house. I mean, can't say enough good things about it. I mean, you can just set it up and it works. So, so far, I'm really impressed. It looks like they put a lot of work into this. And I give them a pat on the back. Like I said, guys, it's a winner. Go get it. Hobbs, if you're watching this and you're listening, please keep me in mind for your next project. I would love to get the next thing that you guys build. I think it's, you guys do an excellent, excellent job. I can't wait for the update. So, keep me in mind, guys. That's it for me, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe below. And remember, you can do anything. If you put your mind to it, later guys! Hoops. <laughs> Hoops. I keep saying hops. I don't know why. I probably butchered it quite a few times. I know what you're thinking. Crazy Will's tech show's over. What do I do now? Real simple, guys. You hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button. And then you check out my other videos. It's not over. I made a lot. It's been a good year.